Coming up, lightning, something we've seen a lot of this week. We'll have some tips to stay safe during the summer. And we're learning more about an overnight crash in Sarasota County. One driver is now facing charges. Plus, why protesters are out in force today during President Trump's visit to London. Your Suncoast News starts now. You are watching ABC 7 News at noon. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us on this Friday afternoon. Topping our news today at noon, the weekend is nearly here and many will be enjoying the outdoors. And it's a great time to remember that lightning strikes happen during the summer months more than any other time of year here on the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Marla Spence joins us in the studio now with a look at how you can stay safe this summer. Marla. Well, Scott, Siesta Key Beach lifeguard captain Roy Routh tells us between the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, central to South Florida gets about 90 to 100 major thunderstorms accompanied by lightning yearly, and most of those storms happen right around this time of the year. So far this summer, one person here on the Sun Coast was fatally struck by lightning near Siesta Key Beach. That lightning strike hit a pair of keys hanging on that young man's belt loop, killing him and then leaving his family in total shock. In an effort to making sure you stay safe this summer while enjoying the outdoors, Ralph says not to wait until the last minute to seek shelter. He also says if you're out for a fun day at a park or a beach, you need to pack light so you can make your exit as quick as you can. Ralph says he and other lifeguards are always keeping a close eye on the weather and they do so with a special device. No, this device right here is called the sky scan and it lets us know about severe thunderstorms and it has lights that go off. So when we start getting around around the 8 to 20 mile range, we're very concerned. We would like to have them off the beach by the time it gets within 8 miles. Ralph says when lightning gets that close, he flies a double red flag, meaning everyone should seek shelter in an enclosed building or a car. And it's good to remember that a single boat of lightning can travel at speeds of up to 60,000 miles per hour, and it can be 54,000 degrees. That's almost five times hotter than the sun. Scott. All right, great tips. Thank you so much, Marla. And uh, another thing to remember, uh, download our weather app. It's got the... Uh, Awesome information on there. You can track where the lightning bolts uh, right. are striking. Exactly. Get alerts if you want. Yeah. That's uh, actually a very good idea for the weekend because uh, the storm motion is going to be kind of erratic, and so you know it's hard to say exactly where those bolts yeah. are going to be. Uh, we have across our region some developing showers now in inland areas. The uh, the Tower Cam at Lakewood Ranch shows you know, some pretty nice blue skies to start off the day, and then as we head into the afternoon, clouds begin to build. They build pretty quickly, actually, and some of them are going to start producing some rainfall in pretty short order. Many of them already have. You can see the line of showers that has developed as the sea breeze begins to form. A couple of pops of lightning uh, now appearing over the course of the last 15 minutes, so thunderstorms are beginning to develop. We'll watch those begin to drift further and further inland as the day progresses and become numerous, widespread, and uh, very slow moving along the spine of the state, Inlet Hardy, DeSoto counties, probably Highlands County as well, all seeing some fairly heavy weather on the way, I think. Slow moving storms mean uh, plentiful amounts of rainfall, and that's probably what we'll see again today. So the forecast calls for along the coast about a 30% chance of showers. That's it. We have a special report now from ABC News. We'll go straight to that. Of course, the president coming off that NATO summit yesterday and his meeting with the Prime Minister, Theresa May, earlier today and that uh, press conference he had uh, this morning also in Great Britain. This is, of course, ahead of his meeting on Monday in Helsinki with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Black tie dinner last night also in Great Britain. This is one of the highlights of the trip, of course, for the President and the First Lady. made headlines, of course, in Great Britain with his criticism of Theresa May, his praise of one of her opponents who just left the government, the Foreign Minister Boris Johnson. And this trip a long time in coming, protests across Great Britain, but the president being met there by Queen Elizabeth. President expect to spend the weekend 
at one of his golf resorts in Scotland, Turnberry. Might get a little golf in, also plenty to prepare for, of course, for that meeting with President Putin. The president likes the pomp of these trips. Remember that big parade, military parade he had in Paris. Liked it so much that he's asked our military to replicate it. That's going to come up in November of this year. On the business side, it has been a controversial trip. The president said in his meeting with the NATO leaders that he was willing to go it alone if they didn't follow through on their pledges to increase defense spending. But they were able to get a joint communique, getting large agreement on policy. And the headlines the president made on his way into Great Britain surprised the British Prime Minister Theresa May. They're trying to clean that up now as well. This part of the trip ceremonial. Well, welcome back to ABC 7. Uh, as we uh, follow the events there happening in Washington and, of course, the president's visit to uh, Great Britain, we want to talk about the stock market and what's happening with that today. And uh, Jeff Stern joins us now. And Wednesday's red numbers, we, we had a good streak going. Definitely. Uh, up arrows. And then Wednesday's red numbers kind of hurt this week. But how is the week looking overall so far? They did. We were kind of worried about that. Yeah. But the week's been good. So, so far, so good. Right now, the Dow is up about 2% for the week. NASDAQ continues to lead the way around 2.5%, while S&P 1.5%, but all green, even with Wednesday's down numbers. Looking at a 10-year Treasury, 2.83, that really is sticking right around there. Dropped about a hundredth of a point. Oil's under $71. I was in Wisconsin last week, and there was, or this week, excuse me, a lot of soybeans. Every, so I was wondering, what are soybeans trading at? $8.32 a bushel. That's around a 10-year low, so hopefully the farmers will get a little higher price than that. And I woke up this morning, the futures were positive, so let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 100 points, 25,025. .41%. NASDAQ is positive as well, up a quarter percent, 7,843, up almost 20 points, while S&P positive as well. They broke that 2,800 point we were looking for, six points positive, almost a quarter of 1%. Hey Jeff, big banks reporting second quarter earnings. Are they looking strong? They are for the most part, besides Wells Fargo, right. but yes, that is correct. They came out today, Citigroup 0.07% revenue beat, over 2% from last year. They say the institutional clients as well as global consumer <laughs> banking was the real strong point there. Net income, $4.5 billion, that's up 16% over last year. Wells Fargo, as we mentioned, they missed by $0.04. Cents. Revenues down 3.1% to $21.55 billion. The bright spot, residential mortgages are up to $50 billion this quarter. That's up from 43 of last quarter. And the leader with Jamie Dimon leading the way, J.P. Morgan. Earnings per share up $0.07 cents versus the consensus. Profit, $8.3 billion just for the quarter. That's almost the record. The record was 8.7 last quarter. So far, Wells Fargo's down. And same with City, but J.P. Morgan, that's positive. So we'll see how they end up after this news. All right, yeah. Thank you so much, Have Jeff. Have a great weekend, All Scott. right, you too. Now let's get a check on uh, the weather we can expect now on this Friday ABC's and the weather this weekend. John? Scott, thanks very much. We are looking at some changing weather coming our way. Tower cam shows showers already beginning to build in inland areas. Those showers are producing some lightning pops as well, and we'll continue to watch that occur as we head through the afternoon. Taking a look at our current air temperature, 85 degrees, we have a dew point value coming in at 73. Plenty of sunshine in places where the clouds are not thick, with a feels like temperature now at 92. But in some places, we're seeing some pretty good coverage of thunderstorms. Along the coastline, by 3 p.m., I think we'll only have a 30% chance of showers. Showers will have, by that point, moved into inland areas where the chances of rain will probably be close to 50 to 60 percent. Uh, by 7 p.m., I think everybody will start winding down and we'll be left with a pretty quiet overnight. 
The showers and thunderstorms are building along a line that continues all the way down the coastline. These showers and thunderstorms, as I mentioned, are producing some fairly heavy rainfall because they're relatively slow movers. Heaviest of the stuff is down around Northport and then along 41 back toward Venice. These showers and thunderstorms are also accompanied by non-thunderstorm showers that are located along 75 in Manatee County. I think we'll see more and more of that occurring over the course of the next few hours in inland locations. So we don't have a whole lot of cloud cover in Gulf waters and the near Atlantic down in the Caribbean. Tropically, things are pretty quiet right now and there's really no reason to expect any problems for the next five days probably, although we may see some development possibly with this cluster of clouds that was barreled just off the coast. But even if it did, it's moving out into the Atlantic and it wouldn't have long before it just totally falls apart. For boaters today, west wind comes in at about five knots. Be a nice day for boating. You'll have smooth conditions out there on Bay and Inland Waters with seas running two feet or less. And I think that might be the case through a lot of the weekend as well. 92 today, tomorrow about the same 30% chance of rain and the shower pattern is pretty much the same. First along the coastline, then inland as we head into the afternoon and the sea breeze builds. Sunday, maybe slightly less rainfall. And then as we head into next week, I think we'll be able to up the rain chances just a little bit. Scott? John, thank you so much. Time for lunch, so let's go out live to ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher, who joined us today from the Spice Station on Boulevard of the Arts in Sarasota. Judy? Scott, you can just walk right down here. This is such a delicious new place. It opened a few months ago, right here on Boulevard of the Arts. It's the perfect walking location, just a little bit up from Main Street. I love it. What you're gonna find here is delicious sushi and authentic Thai cuisine. A lot of the recipes are family recipes like their style of Pad Thai, which I cannot stop raving about. But you will discover everything from lunchtime bento boxes and combination plates to beautiful aromas and flavors. Make sure you ask for Lucy, she's an adorable server, and Simon, the owner, will take care of you very well. So we will be coming here from Spice Station, your Thai and sushi go to right downtown in Sarasota, Florida. My California classes experience has been wonderful. My mother's a huge inspiration. Before she passed away, she would say, you should do something special for yourself. First time I saw my closet, I immediately thought, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I call it my Tiffany style closet. I mean, I can shop in my own closet every day. I love that. My name is Cynthia, and this is my California closet story. Picking out a new ceiling fan? <laughs> That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. You Trust Mr. Sparky, Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, please look away. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> NowSoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. 
It's simple to use and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Welcome back. Time now to meet our pet of the week. John is with the founder of Dante's Den and host of Animal Outtakes, Marsha Panucci, to introduce the lovely Lucy. Lucy, <laughs> what a sweetheart. Isn't Lucy. she though? Boy, they don't get any more beautiful or perfect than Lucy. I have a fondness in my heart for poodles. I don't know, they, they're really smart dogs. Mine goes back to when I was a, a little girl and you had the poodles on the skirt. Oh, but you don't remember don't that, John, of that. course no, no, no. not. <laughs> but uh, of course, I think at that time, every child wanted a poodle underneath their Christmas tree. And Lucy would be perfect, but she's going to celebrate Christmas in July and get look for a home. Oh, and she's sweet. she wants to be the queen of her castle. Yeah. So she really needs to be by herself, but she loves all humans. She loves children. She loves um, men and women alike. And uh, that's very important because sometimes they like one of the species. <laughs> You're sliding. You're sliding. <laughs> sliding. Going down. <laughs> going down for a nap. Right, Lucy? Yeah, I don't but she you. loves to play also. She'll, yeah, she, I don't have any more. Uncle John does. <laughs> <laughs> Treated her up a little yeah. bit there, yeah. But um, and as white poodles go, she's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Oh, you she's notice beautiful. we're not yeah. seeing any of the discoloration that sometimes you see. She's just absolutely beautiful. And I have read, too, that poodles live to be one of the older breeds. Yeah, even the standard, she is considered a standard, and so she's one of the larger ones, and if she's healthy, or any of these poodles are healthy, you can get them to about 14 or 15 that's years uh, of age, and that's absolutely yeah. perfect. So she's got a lot of time left in her. Yeah. She loves to play, John. Yeah? Uh, yeah, she'll even bring back a ball if you uh -huh. treat her right. <laughs> <laughs> but she's very good at sitting on a couch and being yeah. in your lap and just relaxing. And you notice she's been around the cameras here. She was in the green room. We haven't heard her bark. She's just no. taking it all in. And she's able to, I think, to uh, really like you say, not only take it all in, but take it in a very calm way, too. Oh, yeah, so she's, she's not a highly excitable dog. No, at no, no, all. no. And you know, they were hunters. Uh, they were, yeah, they were bred as hunters originally. Everybody thinks, well, they're the boutique foo foo dog. No, they're hunters. And uh, if she's uh, got a prey, she just might go after it, ah. but she'll bring it back. She'll so bring it back. Is she leash trained and house yes. trained and all yes. that sort of good thing? Yes. Yeah? Okay. She did belong to uh, someone. Uh, she was a mommy too, too many times. And uh, then they decided that they wanted to uh, give her up. Here Aww. she is. And the process of adoption? Well, she's presented today by the Florida Poodle Rescue. And of course, you need to give them a call. And uh, they, at 727-265-1766, fill out an application. They do do an interview. They come to the house and they interview you. And then Lucy decides if she wants to come home with you. <laughs> Lucy is a sweetheart. I do hope that she finds a home this weekend because this is a beautiful, beautiful animal. Thank you, Marcia, for bringing Thanks, her in John. today. Lucy, it was a pleasure, absolute pleasure. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> Scott. Thank you both. Let's get back out now to ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher, who is uh, not too far from the station here at the Spice Station in Sarasota. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. Such a delicious place to be. And I want you to meet Simon, who's the chef and the owner. Simon, it's so good to be here today. Thank you for coming, Chef Judy. Uh, yes, um, welcome to Spice Station. And today... Uh, Let's start right with the food, okay? Okay, sure. Uh, this is first, this is the uh, one of the uh, famous street food in Thailand. It's yeah. called Muyang, the pork with the sticky rice and follow up with the uh, Hamashi Carpaccio. 
uh, with the jalapeno on top with the ponzu sauce. So light and refreshing. And speaking of light and refreshing, and a beautiful presentation. Thank you very much, Yuri. And um, the next one will be the uh, tuna tartare on top of the uh, wonton skin. And with a little bit slightly of spiciness in there. And it's, uh, a perfect summer bite, yes, right? Summer bite. So, and especially in this weather, I just want to eat some really good sashimi and sushi. Let's talk about this. Yeah, this is one of the uh, platter that I put on. And this uh, Spice Station Fusion is, has most of the variety of the fish that I put on and some rolls. Some people, they want some rice and some fish. I love it. Yeah, so. It's a great combination. These cute little purses. Tell me about the appetizer. Uh, that's a pretty good bite. It's a uh, crab and goon, and we use uh, blue crab in there and the cream cheese. We have some uh, some herb a little bit, some spicy uh, yellow, what's it called, curry a little bit. Uh, and I love that they're made here, these beautiful little yeah, purses, yeah. and it's fresh crab. Now this dish, you won my heart the first time I ate here, and there's a little family history in here. Yeah, that was the uh, my wife's family recipe from uh, her hometown. That is, um, we, we keep adjusting it little by little and then become, we make a perfection. It's there, this pad thai, I have to tell you, is one of my favorites on the Sun Coast. It's bright, it's refreshing, it's creamy. Now let's get to this ginger grouper, another standby for me. Uh, this is one of the light, and the ginger makes the fish more flavorful. And we got breaded under the vegetable, steam it. So good and healthy. Now this is a brilliant option if you love curries. Yes, that is one of the uh, um, specialty on the house. Um, this is uh, beef masaman brisket. Well, we uh, stew it pretty um, long, long hour right. to become soft and nice, and become. Uh, we have a potato, cashew, and avocado to be. Oh. And those are the details that really, I think, make you stand out as a restaurant, or all these little versions. And you also have several vegetarian and vegan options, right? Yes, we do. We do have a lot of uh, vegetarian optional, and also sushi also. We can do, I can do vegetables. And they do a lot of takeout. So remember, you can order if you want them, bite squad, or just come by. But what a beautiful experience for all. Let's talk about the hours of operation that you're open. Uh, we open Monday to Friday, 11 to 3, that's the lunch, and we reopen at 4.30 to 9. But uh, Friday and Saturday, we open until 9.30 at night. Saturday, open lunch at Great, at and Sundays, they get to sleep in. They're yeah. closed. So you have plenty of opportunities on the other days of the week. We're going to send it back to you guys, and I am getting my chopsticks ready as the restaurant is filling up for sure. Simon, thank you. Thank you, Chef Judy. Thank you for coming. Trust me on this one. You're going to want to come. All right, Judy, thank you so much. Well, as we all know too well, 2017 was an eventful year for hurricanes, and FEMA is now releasing its after action report. The 2017 season was, quote, unprecedented and stretched response capabilities at all levels of government. Among the major hurricanes that caused havoc, Harvey, Irma, and Maria. FEMA says nearly 5 million households signed up for disaster relief last year. The report also noted the death total from Hurricane Maria is still under review and it could be much higher in Puerto Rico. A housing development plan for an area that historically floods clears another hurdle. Manatee County's Planning Commission voting four to one yesterday to recommend the County Commission approve the Grove at Grand Oak Preserve development. It's a proposed 83 home subdivision that Slaughter Drain, which is a small creek that eventually empties into the Manatee River, would run through. 31 acres would be rezoned and a special approval is needed because the site is in a 25-year floodplain. Demolition of the Colony Beach and Tennis Resort is now delayed as the town of Longbow Key finalizes its contract with the developer. The rundown resort now scheduled to be torn down July 23rd. The town ordered the demolition of the colony on July 1st after it deemed it all but one building there unsafe. Unicorp, which is an Orlando-based development firm that plans to build a St. Regis Hotel and residences at that site, has offered to demolish the colony site for free. 
Well, it's never too late to start a new career. A 77-year-old entrepreneur has opened a new indoor market in Sarasota. It's called the Bazaar at Apricot and Lime. It opened a few months ago. The indoor air-conditioned market was the idea of Judy Alexander, who has over 25 vendors selling a wide range of gifts, arts, and novelties. It's wonderful here. You'll love it from the second you walk in. Everybody's smiling at you. They talk to you. We got a great collection of vintage things and just many, many wonderful artists and people and psychics and dogs. In fact, that's Laura's dog, Sweetie Pie. We're told she's the unofficial mascot of the bazaar. The indoor market is open Thursday, Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 2 at the corner of Apricot and Lime Streets in the city of Sarasota. Now back to John for another look at our forecast. John? Yeah, so we're starting to creep up there in temperature. We're at 88 degrees right now. I think cloud cover kind of held down a little bit of the heating, but we have a northeast wind coming in at about 7, and we have a pressure coming in at 31.5. 97 percent 97 is our feels like temperature so it's going to be a warm sticky afternoon no doubt about it we will continue to heat 30 percent chance of showers as we head into 3 p.m and the line of showers that's now on radar moves further inland that'll be the majority of the rainfall uh or in the course of the uh, afternoon and evening inland showers and as we head into the evening i think everything kind of just sort of starts to fizzle out you can see the whole line of showers beginning to develop as the sea breeze circulation begins to churn we have a northeast wind kind of colliding with that sea breeze building so that's why we got an early on start here to the uh, sea breeze activity now most of the stuff is headed east of the interstate on its way away from our immediate coastline where, like I say, we have about a 30% chance of rain. But obviously inland, our rain chance more like 50 to 60%. Lightning pops as well with the heaviest of the rain that's located around the North Port area, back into the uh, villages and on up north toward Vamo. And then as we have uh, move into uh, Manatee County, Lakewood Ranch, seeing some showers too along Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. There's some fairly decent rain falling. Those showers gradually drifting inland. Out in Gulf waters, not a whole lot of activity as high pressure is the dominant weather feature there, nosing in over the Florida Peninsula. I think winds kind of light and variable will allow for an early onset sea breeze each and every day this weekend. And as we head into uh, probably next week, we might be able to up rain chances a bit. But for today, mostly sunny, slow moving inland storms and those better rain chances. West wind at about five for boaters today. And then over the course of the week ahead, we'll look at 92 for today, tomorrow, probably the day after pretty close to rain shower chances, 30% each day, maybe a little lower on Sunday. And then as we head into the work week ahead, I think we'll be able to up the rain chances just a little bit. Scott. All right, John, thank you. Back now to Judy Gallagher live today at the Spice Station on Boulevard of the Arts in Sarasota. Judy. Well, hi there, Scott. I have to tell you, since we started, the phone has been ringing, and it sounds like viewers that haven't been here are going to be coming very soon. A delicious spot. Now, for dessert, there's also things like Thai donuts and ice cream, lovely little pieces if you want to end with something sweet. But I usually get so filled up in some of this beautiful food. And think about, while you're here, you're probably going to want to order a takeout order to have the next day. I always tell people, pad thai is one of the one things I don't really recommend that you ever get takeout, because it really needs to be eaten while it's very hot or can be very sticky. So that's also an option as well. But trust me, you're going to love this little gem. In the heart of the Rosemary District, Spice Station is going to be your new go-to favorite. Remember the bento boxes at lunch and really enjoy the time. And enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there, wear your sunscreen, and have wonderful Asian food. We're going to take a break, and they'll be right back. Happy weekend, everybody. Good eating. Judy here, I think. I think hospice was a tremendous source of support for her. Absolutely. With Jennifer and Kimberly and Liza's constant contact with us, coming in, just knowing that there was someone with knowledge there to back us up, to answer our questions, it made a world of difference.
Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Impreza is an IIHS top safety pick for 11 years running. Lease a new Subaru Impreza today for just $155 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no-obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Monday at 9 on Suncoast View. We all need to take more deep breaths in our life. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. We'll learn about chair yoga in an art gallery for a different kind of relaxation. A new musical comedy comes from an unlikely source. It's Reefer Madness, based on a 1936 propaganda documentary. Plus, we learn about the importance of hurricane windows, and Chef Paul Madison is in the kitchen. Monday at 9 on Suncoast View. WWSB ABC7 is an equal opportunity employer, and we're looking for qualified people to join our dynamic team. For a list of current openings and to apply online, visit www.mysuncoast.com slash contact slash employment. If you're a motivated team player and you want a rewarding career in a fun, fast-paced working environment, WWSB ABC7 could be the perfect fit for you. Check out our list of openings now. Coming up today on the all-new ABC 7 News at 4, what a Bradenton family is saying about the suspicious disappearance of their son who's been missing now for more than two weeks. Plus, people in Punta Gorda rallying this weekend over the concern of persistent red tide on Suncoast beaches. I have the details of what they're asking for. Hope you'll join us this afternoon for ABC 7 News at 4. And we hope you have a great weekend ahead. Pretty good weather for it, too. Not too bad. Bob will have more on that. Have a great day, everyone. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Ready to open up new opportunities as an electrician? Don't do it yourself. Team up with Mr. Sparky instead. We're locally owned and looking for people like you. We offer our electricians great perks that you just won't get going it alone. And whether you're an apprentice, a master electrician, or somewhere in between, we have a spot for you. Best decision I ever made. Apply online or call today. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Temperatures are rising and the deals are heating up during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota. Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for just $23,999. Or save big and get the new Chrysler 300 Touring with an MSRP over $30,000 for just $21,999. That's a savings of over $8,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Northland Outdoors is about so much more than the biggest fish or the hottest hunting spots. All across the Northland, there are amazing people with incredible stories to tell. 
We're going to find those stories and share them with everyone. Join us each and every week as we explore the Northland and experience some of the most exciting outdoor adventures in the country right here in our own backyard. This is Northland Outdoors. Reorganizing a space in your home? Save up to 20% on our beautiful light finishes during the California Closets Shades of White event. Contact us today for a free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. ABC7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station.